Yeah, it was uh, 27 years ago I lost my home. I can still feel it uh, and it uh, lays like this and uh, I can move my fingers. But uh, when I do, I get uh, phantom pains in my, in my fingers. Feels like a knife cutting my fingers. So it really hurts. My brain um, doesn't give gives the message to my legs. People that walk walks normally, the brain has a phone and phones to the leg and tell them, yeah, walk like this, do it like this. I just don't have a phone. The doctor said something not right here. Once I got to the hospital, they um, they put me on an MRI. and then they saw there was a bad tumor pressing against my spine. After the operation, the doctor came to me. He said, you'll never walk again. The only bone I had in my lower leg was my shin bone. Um, I only had three toes, no ankle. My leg before I had it amputated was, basically it was quite deformed. I said to the doctors, look, we've tried, why don't we just cut it off? It was something natural because I was born without it. It looks really simple when you say you have to live with one leg, but there are plenty of things that you cannot do with one leg, but you have to, you know, it's okay. You can do it, but I cannot, so it's the way we live. On September 4th, uh, I was the rear vehicle and a, uh, an IED, an improvised explosive device, went off underneath the vehicle. I started to not be a very nice father to my children. I started to be a worse husband to my wife. I was, just felt like I was dragging everybody down around me. I just thought, I'm gonna swim out there until I don't have the energy to swim back. Sometime uh, when I, somebody throw a ball or something on the right side, I can just uh, think I can pick it down with, uh, with my right arm, but uh, I don't succeed as well as <laughs> you understand. <laughs> but uh, it's a fun, funny uh, uh, feeling. <laughs> 